What's up guys, my name is Joey Albanese. I'm a former crass grad from two years ago. I work at Studio DMI in Las Vegas, which is a mixing master studio for electronic music. So I'm a studio assistant to Luca Predelaise and Scott Banks there. Something I'd offer as advice to a crass grad is to just always be learning. Never stop learning whether you're in or out of the classroom. Hey, I'm Ruben. Graduated in 2015 or 14, somewhere around there. Um, I'm now working at Port Street, managing Port Street recording, hiring interns, also engineering at full time, uh, working with Eddie Kramer whenever he needs me to here and there. I also am studio manager and chief engineer at another studio with Baron Davis, if you know who that is, he's a basketball player. Um, any advice to give to new grads? Um, take the biggest risk you can. Um, Paul Montes, uh, graduated in 2006. I am now uh, Head of Studio Operations and Aftermath Entertainment for Dr. Dre. And if I had to give any advice to new students, is work hard, remember your Pro Tool stuff, it's a standard, and find a way to do the things that other people don't want to do, and you'll always have value in the studio. Um, have a good personality, have a good energy about you, uh, be available, be reliable, be trustworthy, and uh, be prepared. Opportunity can come up at any time, and you want to be ready for that. Yeah. My name is Chris Robbins. I graduated from Crass in 2014. Uh, since then, I left and I've uh, been working at a, a little post-production studio in Austin, Texas called Shea Boom Audio. And since then, I've uh, taken my love for computers and my love for audio and kind of blended them together, and I'm trying to get into uh, making apps uh, for music technology companies. And so uh, my advice to any other crafts uh, attendees would be to take your passion for, what, for why you're there and find your place in the audio world, whatever that could be. So you have a lot of options right there in crafts, but I took something completely, a different, completely different route, and I went music technology. So the, the sky's the limit. It's not always whatever is right, right in front of you. My advice. What's up guys, it's Gabe Cabanda. I own the Epic Proportions Tour out of Phoenix, Arizona. Um, I'm here with Crass. Uh, now Crass is very special to me. Um, we get all our interns, mostly sound recording interns, from CRAS. So, um, the interns that are coming out of uh, this conservatory are amazing. We've taken them on national tours, we've taken them on international tours. Um, they're hardworking, they've learned the, the solid building box, the foundations, and we're giving him, them that real world experience in live touring, pro sound, uh, working in a multitude of different conditions, hellish conditions, great conditions. It could be 115 degrees out in the Phoenix sun, um, and they're sweating it out, doing their job, and uh, learning their craft and taking it to the next level. So thank you, Crass. Appreciate you guys, awesome. and we hope to get some more guys from you guys soon. Thanks. Hi, I'm Yokinon Austin. Uh, I graduated June 2017 and through the internship coordinators. They got me my number one pick at uh, Valentine Recording Studios, which is an all analog studio, which I specifically wanted to do. And through that, I worked really hard and up the ranks, and now I'm going to be hired as a runner, and it's been less than a year. And it's just uh, unreal how amazing the school is and how they get, help get you where you want to be as long as you put in the work. Hey guys, this is Wes Sanders. Uh, I went to Crass in uh, 2014 and uh, currently uh, working with PSAB here in uh, Southern California. I'm the lead technician at the Hyatt Regency uh, Newport Beach uh, AV department and uh, you know I'm having fun doing sound and video and lighting. I get to do it all and uh, Crass really helped me get there and uh, let me, uh, you know, do the things I need to do. My name is Ian Lehman. I'm a graduate of the class in uh, 2012, around summertime, it's hottest. And uh, yeah, I moved out here to California, thought I had a place to stay, didn't have a place to stay, <laughs> did some couch hopping, took whatever work I can get, and I ended up with audiobooks. Glamorous, I know. But it got my foot in the door, started working in some studios, doing some interning on the side, and I found some people who wanted to invest in me to build a studio. So I run a recording studio in a uh, music and dance school. And I still do audiobooks. So uh, never pigeonhole yourself. Never say this is the only thing I'm going to do because you're going to find other people who have gotten to where they are 
by being where they don't want to be first. That's the best advice I can give you. Awesome. Never turned out an audio job.